Wagwan Massive and Crew, DJ Cold Breeze here once again with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to speak about Serata DJ and its library management or its whole backup uh, system. So, if you're wondering why Serata backup is important, just look at it this way. So if you have your library set up with all your settings, so you know you start off with your song, artist, album, key, BPM, and bitrate, and that's the information you want displayed there, and the size of your columns and all that, and the order of your crates and all that information. All that information is saved into your Serato folder, which is found in the My Music section. So if I go to My Music, all that information is found in this folder. So you want to keep this folder as nice and clean as possible. You don't want to interfere with nothing in this folder at all. So if you notice though, every two weeks after using Serato, it will give you an option to update this backup file. That shows how important it is, the details of this folder. Because Serato gives you the option to backup this folder every two weeks so if you make any changes to serato dj all those changes will be saved in the serato folder and will be saved once you close the software so if i go ahead and i close serato dj you notice it only says are you sure you want to exit and i'm going to go ahead and click yes to exit and I'll just give that a couple seconds. And once it closes out, I'm going to go over to my music folder. And I'm going to um, delete the Serato backup file. So I'm going to go ahead and just click delete on this file. So once that file is deleted now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, reopen Serato DJ. So I'm just giving it a couple seconds to open up. Okay, so now once Serato is open, and if I go ahead and I click the exit button, because I deleted the my backup folder in the in the music folder, what's gonna happen is Serato gonna give me the option to actually create to recreate the backup file. So if I go ahead and I click exit, you notice Serato it gives me the message now that your Serato library backup is more than a week old. So Serato pretty much is not actually two weeks, it's actually a week. So every week it gives you the option to back up your library. So that's how important it is. All that information found in that uh, My Serato folder. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll close this out and create, uh, make sure this is checked, backup library on exit. And um, once that is done, it's going to recreate that folder that I just deleted. And that folder is pretty much a copy of the my serato folder so if you um have any questions or wondering why that folder is important just drop it below and um, i hope this video was of some help so as you can see this folder is uh, recreated back in the music folder and just in case you're running serato and you're running into issues where you might find in um inconsistencies with your library and you want to go back to a previous state you just copy all the information found in this um folder here and just put them in this serato folder and everything should work as it was normally so thanks for watching this video leave a comment like and subscribe to the channel once again i'm dj cool breeze one love boom